Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and we left off having, okay, talked to Aerith about how our heart is actually affecting the memories of these characters in this castle. How odd is that? How odd is that? And I talked about how you can break this stuff and you can collectibles, the red bubbles are currency. You want to find cards, that's what you want to do if you want to win this game. There is story and then there is fighting and to get to the story we have to do a lot of fighting. And to do a lot of fighting we have to grind a bunch. Okay. And it is part of this game that you hit every single lamppost you come across. It's just, it's just good, um... How do you call that in the English language? It tells you come out of a good house is a way of putting it. I don't know. Higher than nine. That's gonna be rough. I do have one. I have one of those. Look, oh no, don't get that. If I had gotten into a fight, I would not have been able to get that card. It would have just been gone. Give me that bad boy. Two down. No, I didn't mean to do that. Well, that one is down. No, nope, it's not. I could have just... Oh, missed him. Missed him entirely. I'm getting you. I'll get you. Oh, actually, that is much nicer. Goofy Tornado. Let's see one of those. This is going to be interesting, isn't it? It's going to be big. Oh, we missed it. It was a tornado of a sword. Not what I'd call a tornado, but still. Wait for more enemies to spawn in. Attack. Good. That's how I usually fight. Oh, no. We didn't get him. And bloop. Good. I have a set strategy to play this game and you will soon know what it is and I know it's kind of boring. It's kind of a boring strategy, but you're gonna have to live through that because it will be a pretty... Well, in the end you will know what's going on here. That is why I will not be showing you every second of the grinding. Another level up, by now I should boost health a little bit. We can, in the end, have a lot of health, but I don't think I'll have all the health we can have. If that makes sense. Donald will do stuff now, and... Oh, that actually did work. Now was it? Another Sleeping Darkness. Sleeping Darkness is a nice room. That's a nice small room where we do not have to do a lot of fighting. Good if I do not want to do a lot of fighting. You might have been able to tell. Uh, okay. I was anxious of him getting, you know, broken, but... Oh, come on. Yes! Nice one. I really dislike those guys because they, well, are in midair. At the end of the fight, you usually get a room card, but you're also able to get monster cards. And monster cards are nice. Especially the little black things. They, I, I do want that monster card, but I'm unlikely to get it anytime soon. Ooh, nice one. Kingdom Key Zero. You can also sell those cards to get currency. But at this point, we do not have that option yet. Um, that costs zero. Gosh. I cannot. That's expensive. I don't have that. By the way, you can see this... Um, this room right here, it's the last special room, and this ro special room card with the red heart there means there's gonna be a boss fight. I don't want to go in there and fight a boss right now. Not not with this loadout. I want to be... You know, if, if you get to, for example, a job application or something, you apply for a job and you, you go there and um, have to present yourself to your maybe new boss, you, you want to go there with with, you know, not unprepared. 
you don't want to go there unprepared. You, you know, you want to, you want to be able to know what you're even gonna, what you're applying for, and what you can expect from that job, and why they, they would want you to take that job, or why they want, why they want to pay you money to do that job, while, why you are qualified. I want to be qualified. I want to be qualified to fight that boss. But before that, I want to break that box. I want to break it wide open. Oh, come on. Don't be... Don't be mean. Two. That's nice. These guys give five experience. A whole... And... Oh, God. That was... That was smart. An entirety of five experience. I know. It's awesome. I think so, too. Oh, five. Juicy. Next level 73 already. Man. So that's a good way of opening it, and if I have high cards, just normally attacking here. Only with the weak cards combining them together. I am able to plan my uh, fighting style ahead of time here. Because now I know, yeah, if I use a slight, the first card is gonna be deleted. So if, if the next round, when I, after I have reloaded those cards, I know what cards I will still have in my deck, and I will know what kind of combinations come out of that. If, of course, if you use the same card over and over and over and over, it's not gonna be that much of a thinking process. But still, you can make it out to be a thinking process. Ah! He was hovering too high. He's too good. Too good with his fire magics. I want to see the, the dark ones, because I, I actually want to know what they're called in English. Just normal heartless, but I, I don't know what to call them. Oh, don't do it. Okay, that was good. Ooh, beautiful! Oh, missed that shot. That's a nine, good. Not the damn stupid sliding thingy. And by the, by the way, I'm not a big fan of the sliding because you never hit your enemies with it. You might have noticed. Here, huh? Freeze! Oh, now that was a hit. This isn't. But Zimba is always hitting. Well, not always. You saw what happened there. He's kind. Of, no, come on! Don't get yourself. Don't get all fancy. All right. Another tr tranquil darkness. This down there is not the only space this room has to offer, by the way. I just am fighting down there because it's working for me right now. After I have beaten all the enemies, you will see why the big darkness room is so nice. In my opinion, of course. Other people might have completely different play gameplay styles of this, but... I really like teaming darkness. You want to check out what I'm talking about? Well, you can. Look at this, such a big room, so many things to break, so many so many places to run around. Look at this huge room, oh man, all these things, bugs to jump on, look at that. And only 10 enemies to fight. It's basically free. And there's already level, oh. Uh, eh, eh. Don't you dodge it, alright, I got two. When Zimba shouts, he only damages enemies right in front of his face. Not to the back of him. He's not that good a shouter, isn't he? I'm better at shouting because I let's play. I have a very booming voice if I want to have a booming voice. Oh, come on. Get him, get him. Ah! He's too good. Oh, come on. Don't only have sliding dash. Ow. Oh. 
Don't break it, don't break it, don't break it. It hurts. Ouch! No, Zimba! Hmm. Ooh. Okay, what am I gonna level up? HP or CP? CP. I think I should have gotten a bunch of cards already, but I think it was all zeros, and I do not like the zeros at all. Got one Zimba too. I have to put that in there. It's better than nothing. Do 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 if I switch this up, this is a 9, and this is also a 9. Which means I don't have the slide anymore, which is something good in my opinion. I'm probably gonna... I, I'm soon going to delete that zero. I'm not using those to great effect anytime soon. Was that the last one? Cool. Alright, let's jump on all the boxes, see if we get a card. That's life. I don't need life right now. Currency! Nice! that. I wonder what they're called in this game. Give me that big bubble. Big red bubble. One is worth ten, I think, and of the small ones, one is worth one. But I don't know for sure. What are they called? Moogle points. I have 450 right now. The good cards I want to buy are like, well, 2,000. So yeah. You can tell there's gonna be grinding. Oh no, give me that. Give me those. No, don't run away. Ah, I got you. The other one is not worth running for. Do 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 do. No, I didn't want to leave actually, but that's okay. I want to get a few cards. Just a couple. Just. Just enough to make my heart be happy. I really enjoy boxes that break a lot more than these because these don't have a visual effect of uh, whether you've hit them already or or if you have missed this one and that one. Like lampposts, they go out. I mean, I know you can strike them again and they go, they will be on again. But then again, this this room was randomly generated to a degree, so there's going to be all kinds of these. That's what I wanted to see. Well, the potion not so much, but cards in general. Potions are valuable. Ooh, Zimba. That's that's pretty good. That's gonna be pretty good. Because uh, when I go to status, we have all these. Yeah, new, 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 new. P a proud roar. Zimba's roar stuns and deals damage to enemies in front of him. Zimba Zimba, Zimba's roar stuns and deals even more damage to enemies in front of him. Triple Zimba, we have that now. We have triple Zimba. Not in our deck currently, but um... I can deal with that. Leave. Actually, I don't want that one to leave, I want this one to leave. And I can put that there. Then I can get the zero back in so you don't feel too bad about yourself anymore. I could have put in... Th I have two threes. One, two. I can delete the zero. Now I am... I need seven more. I can get those seven more. These are worth eight. Which is fair. Put this combination here. Of course, I'm gonna throw that out. I don't need it right now. I only have a zero there. I didn't know. I thought I had a one. Never mind. Oh. Oh.
That's where the next card I find will come in. But I hope I will find one of those at some point. I think I've already uh, already uh, worked my way through all of those. But now you see the problem, don't you? Moogle points, moogle, moogle, moogle. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. The soundtrack of this game is vast. Every area has a different soundtrack, which I very much enjoy. And you can... Well, there's going to be a lot of areas. Traverse Town is not the only one. And there's like there's like 15 of those. And what is this? A two. It's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. We have space for 12. And this is worth 11. Perfect. And now we have... Um, nine here and ten there. Uh oh. And this is a eight. So there's space for one more and fun. You know when you have the wrong mode equipped, um, it's not as grand. Okay, I can switch out these. So this is nine, and this down here is nine as well. Good. Makes me happy. And we will put Zimba up front. <clears throat> and now we have a we have something to deal with enemies easily. And I'm gonna redo this room quickly. With a three or higher, a big one. We'll use one more three and after that we can go into the boss. Um, this is going to happen in this episode still. Because you are not gonna have to pay the lesson for me grinding here proud roar proud super roar good luck breaking this they are not happy about themselves at all I did expect that to one shot them but you know those were the stronger enemies blue rhapsody rhapsody fine Another one of these. Right direction. Nice. Good. With the Super Zimba Roar, we are up to something already. See, the fight goes uh, it goes by way quicker now. It's this fight again. No! No, no, no. Ah, uh, one. I, I missed one. Nice one. More. Hopefully this room layout is a little more friendly. With less ledges and stuff. This one again. I could have waited for those to appear as well. That's what I'm gonna do next time. Because those do spawn in all at the same time. Well, not all at the same time, but they are gonna be on the screen at the same moment. Now this fight is no problem anymore. It's a one shot. We just get a bunch of experience and that's it. Well, what I'm saying is I'm not getting a bunch of experience. I'm getting a very sl tiny little slight amount of experience. Because this is the first area of the game. But that little tiny slight bit of experience is already enough to get me to like level 5. Which I'm happy about. Level 5 is good. Come on. There's like two more enemies, I think. Probably not even. Alright. This is gonna be over quickly. Of course, those little experience bubbles do dissipate after a while, so you do have to get them. You would do well to get them anyways. If you don't, you are gonna be in tough luck. 
That was the last one. Or was it? Sometimes there's uh, one remaining that you can don't see and he surprises you at a moment you do not want him, him to surprise you. And this is workable. Ooh, nice one. Do like cards. Oh. Always like that, look. That's always the greatest when a box explodes and a couple of big red bubbles burst out. Oh. Best thing I can imagine. Right after a big puddle of ice cream. Oh. Every time, man. Every time. That's why this game is good. You can just I'm I'm playing this on a Game Boy Advance emulator, by the way, with a with an Xbox 360 controller. You can probably hear me clicking on my Xbox 360 controller as well because I am using a microphone that uh, tends to pick up a lot of stuff. But it has good quality. Very good quality, I might add. And... Well, you're not... You're not... I'm gonna not do so much about it because by now the clicking doesn't bug me as much as it did in the beginning. Alrighty, boss fight time. I promise you something. I will keep my promises. Well, what do you know? It's Zora. Wait, what am I saying? I don't know you. But you you do look like a Zora. The, uh, what with the spiky hair and baggy pants? Guess I just call him like I see him. It's okay, Sid. That's my name. So you've heard of me? Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Anyway, maybe you can help me out. A friend of mine's supposed to be somewhere in this castle, uh, town. Your friend, huh? Lately all this town sees is heartless. Can't even take two steps without getting attacked. This plaza is the worst. Word is, we'll have a Jumbo-sized Heartless on our hands when that bell rings. If you value your height, you'll get out of here while the, uh, while the getting is good. Gosh, gosh, maybe he's right. Don't you want to see the Heartless? No, we don't! The bell! Sora, look out! Ooh, hi, big guy. You look like a friend. Actually, you don't. Okay, that's a zero. He's unlikely to play another zero. Good damage there. Okay, I did the damage already, though. I don't want to use up all my combinations already. Oh, oh, get that one. Nope, you're not. Okay, do something good. Ooh, yes. Ooh, buddy. Why is this so good? Because you see, this is a boss card. I can just use them normally and not worry about it so much. Heal there. I think I'm gonna recover them normally. Doop 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 doop. Crowd roar. There goes my two. I think I heard him, but I might not have. Okay. Okay. Good damage there. Defeated the first arm or foot or whatever, but they're all damaged. Nice one. I'm actually thinking about this boss fight for once. Uh oh. Oh, nice. I killed this foot. Okay, Goofy. You are showing up all over the place. You think I appreciate it, but I actually don't. Ah, dang. Didn't mean to do that. Ah. So I have to. 
Okay, give me that, give me that Mickey Mouse card. That's my last Zimba. It didn't do damage? No way! Oh, you jerk! There's one. Give me that. Okay. Let's get some damage in here, though. I have gotten stuck at this boss fight before, and it was not nice back then. And with stuck, I mean, oh, you have one card remaining, and you can use it over and over and over again. Do it quickly. Okay. That card? Give me that card? Okay. Okay. Down to his arm. And his breastplate, or whatever that is supposed to be. Ouchies. Oh, waste. Just gonna go ahead and use that. And use that opportunity to get stocked up again. No! Okay, card break. I do have to just... Just break his, uh, you know, stuff and I get a Mickey Mouse card. That is good to know. Now I actually need the heal too. Thank you, Mickey Mouse. Okay, that will be it. I am confident. There he goes. Nice one. Stuff! No! Give me that bad boy! Give me that experience! Oh. Learn a new slight! Stun impact! Stun around enemies... Uh, stun surrounding enemies with a single attack. Three attack cards out of the same type, total value 20 to 23. So your friend wasn't here? <clears throat> no, I don't think I'll find him in this town. But he's somewhere in this castle, I just know it. Castle? Like this whole town's inside some humongous castle? Oh, that's rich! He's probably right, Sid. We may not understand what is going on, but Sora does. He can see that reality is bigger than just this world. I wish that was sure. I wish I was I was that sure. You'll be okay, Sora. No matter what shape reality takes, you can handle it. I may not remember you, but I know you in my heart. Leon. Take care, Sora. I'm a little lost, but best of luck anyway. What's wrong? I don't have all the answers, but there's something I thought you should know. Your memories created this town, right? That's what the guy who gave me the card said. If that's true, then this town is just a figment of your mind, and so are we. But you can't be a figment. You're standing right here. This the town is here too. But I'm not really me. I don't remember the thi things I should. I sense things I shouldn't. Sora, beware your memories. In the journey to come, you'll be faced with more illusions. Sometimes the shadows of your memory will deceive you. Try to lead you. Uh, tr try to lead you. S to try to lead you astray. Hmm. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? I'm just another illusion, Sora. The truth is out of my reach. Don't say stuff like that. It's de it's depressing. No, Sora, you mustn't let illusions uh, destroy you from what what's truly important. Okay. Sora! 
Are you ready to go? Yeah, be right there. Well, Aerith, I'd better be going. Aerith? What about her? She's gone. I was just talking to her. Now she's gone. Aerith left with Leon and the others, remember? Huh? You were standing here by yourself. We wondered what was going on. So this is what she meant. How mysterious. Let us climb this gargantuan ladder. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until then, bye-bye.